They did not love their lives to the death. What does that mean? That means, that means that they loved, gore, they loved God more than life itself. That means that they found God, the greatest purpose for their existence. And because they were so radically in love with this God, nothing could shake them. And even, even when they faced martyrdom, they said, you know what? Take my life and let it be. I consecrated my life to thee. I've given my life to Christ. All right, so the question is, how do we overcome the enemy? By receiving salvation, by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives to the death. That means that they love God more than life itself. Pastor, can you please summarize that in one sentence or in one, in one phrase? I will. Thanks for asking. It's in verse 10. We'll go back. Here's that key phrase. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. How do you summarize this power that overcomes? It's right there in verse 10. I highlighted, I highlighted it in orange. The power of his Christ have come. The way that you and I are going to be able to walk out of this sanctuary as winners is by tapping in to the power of Christ. The only way that we are going to leave here with the confidence that we are victors and winners and champions, it's only through the power of Christ. That's it.